Diana King. I don't know if you don't remember Diana King, the girl that sings Shy Guy many years ago. I think that was her only hit ever. She's still a working artist because she had the same artist where um, them they kick off uh, being a man off at the concert over so, somewhere in Europe there. One big, big um, annual event. They actually replaced Beanie Man with her because the gay crowd and the gay community said they didn't want Beanie Man on there because of things he has said in the past. Even though Beanie Man, they apologized to them and them thing there. But that's not what we came to talk about today. I'm just trying to drag your memory so you can remember Diana King. So Diana King's statement says, Jamaica is tolerant of rape and sexual abuse of children, even incest, Jamaica but not of sex between consenting LGBT adults, all right? So this is some strong accusations right here. And also, I guess this is from her point of view. This has been her observation. She's not an outsider. She's a real Jamaican, a Jamaica she born, and a Jamaica she don't want to growing up. About this place here, right? Nobody don't want to hear the truth. Anytime we start talking about how to how to better this place here. Nobody wants to hear it. All they want to hear is praises. They want to hear how great Jamaica is. They want to hear how great Jamaica people are. They want to hear how intelligent Jamaican people are. They don't want to hear all the frig, all the shagris we are going in Jamaica. They don't want to hear how to move Jamaica forward in so the modern Jamaica world. is behind in a lot of ways, but Jamaica is also a young country. So stick up in. I could start, but we could talk about that story here involving Diana King's Twitter rant. Exact comment. This is exactly how she tweeted it. And she back up her tweet up. So it's not one of them cases where she can come out and say, yo, I was I was in control of my Twitter page. Somebody else was running it. Or it's not one of them things that where she can come out and say, somebody hacked my thing and say what them have to say. She back up what she said. So this was Diana King's comment to Jamaica. She said, Jamaica is tolerant of rape and sexual abuse of children, even incest, but not of sex between consenting adults, consenting LGBT adults. I got no support for my rape, only rejection, shamed, as if I asked for it. I had to be my own therapist. I was a fucking kid, Jamaica, she added. Now, people, Unu can sense, I don't know if Unu can sense, but I can certainly sense some anger here towards Jamaica on a whole, okay? I got no support for my rape, only rejection, shamed, as if I asked for it. I had to be my own therapist. I was a fucking kid. Jamaica is what she added to the comment. So, first, I'm, I'm going to go through this again. So, you can walk with me into some of the things that SoFlo TV is about to say to you. Because, you know what I do already, you know, you know what I do already. I never come here for big friend. I come here to do my thing on SoFlo TV. I am Mr. SoFlo. And this is a Fimi TV. So I'm leave my comments up here. My comment, all your oppositions are welcome. I've never been a person that disrespect other people because of their personal opinions. So if you're gonna catch me in the comment section telling a boy, because well, I'm gonna tell people forgot suck them mother. If you catch me in the comment section disrespecting someone and then shortly after they're deleted and blocked, it's because they were disrespecting me in a derogatory manner. As in coming back with reasoning and intelligence. Check this out. Diana King said, Jamaica is tolerant of rape and sexual abuse of children. Hmm. Even incest. And if you don't know what incest means, no phone or company and don't know what incest means. So incest means say, fathers are rape off and daughter, mother sleep with her son, brother and sister from the same mother and father in a bed together and them something that they are saying that Jamaica is tolerant of these things but they are not con tolerant of consenting sex between consenting LGBT or L 
lesbian, G, gay, B, bisexual, T, transsexual, LGBT adults, King wrote. I got, she followed this statement up by saying, and when Jamaica did a beat her body up because go on her Twitter and look. I don't know if it's a race by now, but after she made this comment, she got her ass whooping from enough of the people them verbally on here. But that did not stop her from saying what she said after. Hear what she said after. I got no support. She never retract her statement. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. She said just like this. I got no support for my rape. Only rejection. Shamed. As if I asked for it. I had to be my own therapist. I was a fucking kid. So, Jamaica. I'm saying to you now, Jamaican people, I could talk about this, right? Let's break this down. Check this out. That statement angered a lot of Jamaicans who rejected her statement, calling it nonsense. Alright? At Diana Kingdom, this is nonsense. Rapists and child molesters get beheaded before the cops come get them. Nonsense. Don't speak ill of Jamaica. One person wrote. You free to speak your mind, but that statement is not true because majority of Jamaicans will not tolerate rapists. Another person wrote. Alright? So Diana King announced back in 2012 that she was a lesbian in a lengthy message to her fans on her Facebook page. Right? My name is Diana. Eugenia King, known to most as Diana King, my fans call me King Singer. She wrote on her Facebook page, I am woman, mother, aunt, Jamaican, American, international artist, singer, songwriter, band leader, friend, lover, entrepreneur, goddess. Among this, these things, and yes, I am a lesbian. The answer to my most direct question, or my most, sorry, my most indirect question she wrote, I welcome the who cares right now. Laugh out loud. So, at the time when Diana King came out, this is what she had written, or this is what she wrote on her Facebook page at the time. And this is how she came out. So she came out in that 2012. Well, fear our life to live. If that is the way she wants to live our life. Well, like I said, she must have an album or something coming out to sell or promote. Got to stir up interest and sympathy to get attention. When was the last anyone heard about or said anything about Diana King? Well, people... Like I said before, Beanie Man, big, 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 big DJ, dancer, legendary Beanie Man, get fling off our of show in Europe. And get replaced by this same person recently who you are saying that when was the last someone heard of her she's she tours extensively okay so don't let's not sit around and act like diana king is a nobody people have this notion that because you're not hot at the moment on their radio station where them live that you are nobody the world is big massive vast okay Millions of radio stations across the world and Diana King has always remained a touring uh, Entertainer she not she not the studio thing. She's she performed on stage with a live band She ain't never stopped touring since she got her hit back in the day. So is she relevant? Yes, she's relevant How damaging to Jamaica is her statement? It is very damaging the audience to think about what may I say and answer these questions. Are we tolerant of rape? Are we tolerant of sexual abuse of children? Look, first of all, the consenting age legally by law in Jamaica is 16 years old. So, when you see a 16-year-old girl with a 40-year-old man or a 30-year-old man, and they might wood and seed that. That is perfectly legal in Jamaica. So, are we tolerant of sexual abuse? We, in our laws, have given children the right to consent to sex with adults. Foreigners travel to Jamaica. Not Jamaica, I know this enough. 
foreigners travel to Jamaica to get young pum pum because they can legally come to Jamaica and have sex with a 16 year old and not be in trouble for it. If a 18 year old in America, you see, lay down and have sex with a 16 year old, he might go to prison. In Jamaica, it's perfectly legal. You can be 35 and fly into Jamaica as a man, pick up a 16 year old girl. So my girl, what happened? I have a couple hundred US to now. Come go to a hotel room with me. I'm going to spend a night and rare, rare, rare. I'm going to buy you them things after the weekend and whatever. Romance up and um, inveigle the mind of the 16 year old. And brainwash a 16 year old into your bed and out of our drawers. And it will be perfectly legal in Jamaica. So, not far fetched, far fetched from what Diana King has said. She said, Jamaica is tolerant of rape and sexual abuse. So, Let's talk about the rape. Woman in Jamaica get raped already. And yes, not people in Jamaica say, born a rape a boy. But when you have men who walk up to woman and grab them up somewhere, and the woman them feel intimidated to say something that is borderlining rape, that is sexual abuse, actually that's sexual molestation. You know what I say? So, I don't know about the rape thing so much because. Uh, uh, my place where me come from a clarinet, you know, so people get chopped up if you get accused of them thing here. Me talk about, you better hope set. You, matter of fact, when girl ball rape, you see, which part me come from, you want to run. If you are the rapist or the accused, you want to run out of the neighborhood there as fast, that little village there as fast as you can. Because more than likely, a uncle, a father, grandfather, somebody, I got lend you the blade. You know them long blades that we have down there? They more lend you the blade. I thought one of them chop up your cloth. So I'm not so sure about the rape thing, but the sexual abuse of children thing has, has, has weaved its way into Jamaica, um, Jamaican culture. Man, I look upon picnic from them young, and I thought about them a groom picnic and can't wait till picnic. Now you know, see all that school as them. You know, see little school as them, I take big man. People. Listen to me, SoFlow TV, I'm watching a video the other day. Something come up and I don't know how the hell me reach for it. It's, a, it's called WestIndianFreaks.com. We're going to go look it up. I said one time I look for it. I be a little girl missing from Jamaica in a school uniform. I said blood clot, I forget this off of my computer because you see to all foreign me left. Me don't want nobody come come on my computer and see them sitting here and talk about me and sit down and watch child porn. So when I see them sitting, me, me look through it to verify it because it had adult sexual content in it. But I'm telling you that because we have given the children in Jamaica the legal right at 16, them, and you know some most like 16 year old them, nobody fool themselves and talk about girl look big. Girl look big at blows on a skirt. Big woman look big. They look at some of them look so young. Them are 16 and legally in Jamaica them can do what them want to do sexually. And 16 them look like 14. So you can see them on the video. And them look like 14 years old people. And them here are, them are, are some of the things that Diana King spoke of in her comment. Okay? Incest. Incest is a big thing in a Jamaica. And whether we want to face it or not, it is. Enough people in a Jamaica get touched up by Uncle Peter, Junior, Ricky and Mikey. Enough people in a Jamaica get feel up and rip off by other family members okay enough people in Jamaica them first sexual experience was with another family member someone who was older than them and was entrusted to protect the child and raise the child properly and then fuck off the little picnic them so a long time when I talk about this I'm gonna know why people are going like Diana King has said this because she have a hour for promote the woman has said this because here's her statement she said I got no support for my rape. So just like her, her story is the same as um, the girl we call delusional with the way on Gullibop right now. Well, let's see how it affects the mind of a child into adulthood. Many years later, enough rape victim can't come to grips. Them can't come to grips with the experience that they have suffered. You can tell that Diana King is bitter as hell against Jamaica, against the system that Jamaica has in place that protects incest and protects rapists. Me here, 
stories actually published in Jamaica paper where girl get raped already, man get locked up, man get short time enough for raping little picnic girl. And guess what? When the man get released from lockup, the man was released right back to his home and he was the next door neighbor. And them said when the little girl see him in first day when him come out of prison, and the little girl see him show up and I walk past fair yard to go a female yard, she run and piss up herself. So this is the Jamaica that Dinah King is talking about and spotlighting. So people, me know say on the like to protect Jamaica, I do, I do too. I like to protect Jamaica as well. But there are things happening in Jamaica that we have to face in order for our I country to move to forward. Say. Where she said, I had to be my own therapist. I was a fucking child, Jamaica. She had talked to the whole Jamaica. She had to be her own therapist. Jamaica is like said, Jamaica don't have nothing set in place for victims. No victim protection. I just finished telling about the man where rip off the little girl. They must have given about one year a prison or something like that, or eight months, nine months, something like that. When the man come out and the little girl see him, first of all, the little girl feels all right and gone to prison. God Almighty, man. All right, we can't, we can't get some help now and carry on with my life. Can you imagine that? You are eight, nine years old and you see this man show up again and him say, yeah, my prison term done in a little girl and him start look on the little girl again. The little girl, them say she piss up herself, man. Run. And piss, the piss run on our leg. That type of terror, you can imagine, is a reality. Because nothing is set in place for these victims to be protected after, after this kind of trauma has been endured. Sad to say, but Jamaica is filled with abuse, uh, sexual abuse of children and is filled with incest yes taguan nothing in jamaica may i see people have brag about it and i make video put up on uh, social media about it so it did it and it did enough and people know about it too and nobody saying nothing and when you bring these things out people start saying oh you're slaughtering jamaica are you sure you're jamaican and are you even really jamaican flag, diana king now is right here so diana king this what you're saying you could have you could have spin this the right way Okay, but I understand that you're hurt because you have gone through some things. I'm not here to say you haven't because you have, and I'm saying that you have because you said you have, and you know what you went through. Okay, so I'm here to say that I understand that you're hurt. Don't tear down the whole Jamaica with this because you have enough Jamaicans that don't stand for any of this. We don't stand for no sexual abuse of children. We don't stand for no rape. We're not tolerant of no incest or none of that. Flat out. Playing out, no way around the thing, just like that. We don't want it, we don't like it, and when we see it happen, we bonfire upon it. We don't want a bonfire upon it, nothing we get up and do something about it. Like for real, do something about it. They talk about something like thing where we can't talk on camera. Them things are getting heated. So, the, for you to come out and say that Jamaica, Jamaica on a whole is more accepting of these things than they are of, stop pushing this homosexual agenda in this manner. All right, we don't see a radio by us at SoFlow TV. Although we have audience members that will come and say, burn out Batman and them something there. On the same audience member, when they come say that, to see, we want to know if also, burn out child abuse, burn out rapists, burn out incest, and all them other something there. So don't just waste your days burning out homosexual because here is where Diana King has the right now. And she only give her the fuel for that fire here. And so our fire blazes now. And we have to go deal with this blazing fire here. You understand? We have to go prove to the world now that so Jamaica is not more tolerant of rape, sexual abuse, child molestation and incest than we are of gay people being together. Alright? So SoFlow TV, I'm going to edit right now so I hear so I can go on and on and on on this one. And I don't want to. I want to edit right here so and I want you all to answer this question for me. In the comment section below, is Jamaica more tolerant of rape and sexual abuse of children and of incest? Would Jamaicans prefer rape, sexual abuse of children and incest more than they would prefer to see a relationship between two homosexual individuals? Talk about things on SoFlow TV or SoFlow TV with their people in the like. 
comment, share, subscribe, and please understand that this is not a bashing video. Everybody that knows SoFlo TV knows where I stand on this issue. I don't give a damn what anybody wants to do with them life. Me no want nobody govern my life. So I'm not here dropping no rules, laws, and regulations upon grown people how them want to govern them life. What you want to do with your private parts or your business? Who you want to touch your dear, feel you up there, go in and out tight or your business? I don't business with that. Alright? So to stick to the topic and come intelligently. The SoFlow TV, I'm up out of here, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're gone. Peace.